As a defender in your home, you have significant advantages, but only if you use them. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Hesperia, California. Ammo is crazy expensive and hard to find, and dry fire is life. I use the Mantis X10 to keep my handgun skills strong, and it makes dry practice fun and challenging. Check it out at the link below. In a real rarity here at Active Self Protection, the homeowner involved with uh, this defensive encounter actually is going to talk us through what happened. He did that for this website, talked through what happened here. So let's listen to what he has to say. What I want you to see at the beginning is this guy lives down the block from our homeowner. These are his security cameras. This guy lives down the block. He is a prohibited possessor, a known felon, a uh, bad dude in the neighborhood. And at two o'clock in the morning, he's knocking on the door. He's going to leave. Now he's taken off the cap. He's still wearing this thing, earphones. He kicks the door a little bit, didn't hear any of that. If he's talking through the door, none of us can hear him. Yeah, he's talking to himself. Now, if you notice, it's 3.28 in the morning, so he left and now is coming back. Let's continue to listen in. And round two. So, then he pulls up. He was, he was at his house back here. It doesn't show that, but his house was back here. This is him. So he should, See, there's nobody in the truck, babe. It's only him by himself. Mm. See, there's nobody in the truck. It's him by himself. And so he comes to the door. He was tweaking. He's checking the door, trying to pry the door open. Now he's going to kick it. Leaves again. I kiss the door again. So then I now wake up, and it shows me my underwear with this camera. So anyway, I wake up. I'm coming to the door, and uh, so I want to show you that video where I'm. Yeah, no, no. I come to the. I come this way. Now he sees me. He sees me. He's doing that. He's telling me to open the door. Open the door. Open the door right now. Open the door. I tell him hold on. Then he does that number. And then I retreat. That's when I retreat. So I head back and push the gun away. I fire and it, oh, that was like a misfire. I was trying to load my gun and so then his gun is, is jammed. He peed himself already. Either he peed himself or I hit him. It looks like right where he would pee. For some reason, he starts picking up his own bullets. If I would have known that, if I would have known that he was out of ammunition, oh, there he'd know he had a bullet. He fires back. And he says, Charlie, I'm out of here. So he goes back that way. Cops are going to show up in about 10 minutes. So he shoots here. He shoots at, at this guy's house. At Chris's house. Chris's lights come on. He ends up driving away that way. Although he lives right here. It actually took a couple days for cops to chase this guy down. And they did, and he is facing like five or six felony charges for this. Nobody in the home was injured, and that's where it ends.
Man, I am glad he is okay. If you want to get better as a self-defender, consider joining us in our monthly online seminar. Our seminar in February on the beginning of the aftermath of a deadly force encounter was free, and we're making marches free as well as we continue to talk about that topic. So hit the link in the description to get registered and join us. Won't cost you a penny this month. I think having a home security system like this so you can see what's going on at your front door and all around your house is a great idea. So you don't even have to go to the door and open it yourself. I think that's a great lesson from this one. Secondly, when the guy comes back, I mean, obviously guy's gonna come up to the front door at three o'clock after already knocking on the door a bunch and he's gonna finally wake the homeowner up kicking at the door. Okay, fine, maybe a good reason to have something like a dog or something like that that'll wake you up if somebody's knocking on the door. Now, our homeowner says that he goes back and, and now this guy starts yelling, open the door, open the door, open the door and he can kind of see through. If you go watch the news stories in the description and read those, that there's like these glass panels on the side of the door. Um, I would recommend opaque panels on the side of your door that you can't see through. So now the guy pulls a gun and the homeowner decides, hey, I'm gonna go get the gun, my, my own gun out of my bedroom. I think it's a great idea to have a home defense firearm. It's a great idea to, to have that in your home, to know how to use it well. Because one of the things that we saw happen here is if you listen to the homeowner, he said that was actually a negligent discharge, that in charging the gun, in loading the gun, he actually fired around inadvertently. Number one, that is dangerous to uh, the neighbors. Number two, could have been dangerous to the people in the house. Number three, you now have depleted the capacity of your firearm with a known deadly threat in your vicinity. So, so it, knowing that you can just look on your phone probably and see that this guy is outside your house, there's no reason to be in the hallway there. I would back up as far as you can, get away from there, get to a place of safety, get your family away from that front door and get on the phone with 911. I'm very grateful here that the bad guy's gun sucks and we do see that pretty regularly. The bad guys have crappy guns and, and that was a real advantage. So what is the homeowner doing in this case? Of course, we don't have any video from the inside of the house to see what the homeowner's doing. If he's smart, he is getting as far away from this door as he can, getting himself and his family into their barricaded safe room, into the safest place in their house, the, the place with only a single entrance, usually like a master bathroom or something like that, hunkering down, calling police, telling him there's a guy outside shooting at him and asking for help in that. Hopefully he's not there trying to find a better shot on this guy because again, now you're, you're putting yourself in a risk that you don't need to. Now, thankfully this guy's gun really sucks and that's a very good thing. But one of the biggest reasons that I say you don't wanna stay in that vicinity and see what he's doing personally is because he does eventually get the stupid gun to operate. So, you know, again, he might have a crappy gun. You might say, oh, I wanna see what he's doing. That's what you've got the cameras for. You know, uh, retreat to your safe room. And that's something that you should work through with your entire family, that they should know in the event of an emergency, go to this place, it's got a safe in it. It's got, you know, a home defense uh, gun in it. It's got, we can lock the door here. We can barricade ourselves in a safe way and wait for police to get here and get on the phone with 911. So hopefully the homeowner did that because crazy stuff like this happens. This guy had no reason to do any of this. They hadn't had a fight. They hadn't had any beef or any of that. According to the news story, he just went crazy and decided on their house and then shot at the neighbor's house on his way out the door as well. So I think having a home security system, really good idea. Maybe having a dog or something that'll wake you up when uh, stuff goes down or you know motion sensor alarm on your security system, I think is really wise. Having a home defense firearm, really good, but make sure that you practice the rules of safe firearms handling. By the way, in looking up California law, he wasn't required to have the firearm uh, unloaded by California law as long as it's prevented from having uh, unauthorized accessors have access to it. Some cities do have that kind of ordinance, but I don't know if this one did, but California state law does not require it. My general recommendation for a firearm that is staged for home defense is to leave it loaded and, and secured in a safe or a quick access safe for reasons like this. Less administrative gun handling is less likely to have negligent discharges. Thankfully, the homeowner came out of this one okay. Thankfully, the bad guy's gonna be in prison for a long time. This guy, I'd say cover his ass, and also let's think about some of the lessons on this one so that we do so with less danger.